Call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles. Great millstone over well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your life may be. This is just another quick one. Um, I jotted down a couple of scriptures in my uh, <laughs> uh, fever dream that I was having. Um, and. Yeah, I don't know what it was about. You know, maybe these doggone chemtrails are getting to me. I sound congested. But earlier on in the day, I was uh, I had a, a fever. Um, you know how you get those weird dreams when you have a fever. And, I mean, I was messed up earlier. But uh, as I thought about praying it away, I just told the Lord, leave me in it. I deserve it. <laughs> Only because, um, well, I mean, we deserve a lot worse all of us especially myself but um i said it because uh, i didn't start the last week's sabbath off right i didn't get it you know yeah we go off okay but and i made sure I, I sent up a prayer of repentance to get it right again and it just seems like as soon as you know sunset hit last night it, it kind of crept up on me and then when i woke up in the morning you know call hello how about you my that i did wake up um yeah that it, it hit me like a truck and as I, like I said, I started thinking about praying it off, but you know, this is a light affliction and I figured, you know, Lord, leave me in it. I deserve it. Um, at least it'll help me, you know, not go off again on the Sabbath or uh, because I'm kind of stuck bedridden until I, you know, listen to lessons, read scriptures, things of that nature. But um, I say all that to say that, um, on this uh what is this one two three fourth point um to check your response in the time of trouble and this is something very very light very very minuscule but we're all coming upon a time where we have to walk the straight gate or there will be more tests and each one will be a little more strenuous than the other but um you know the lord tells you he'll won't he's not gonna take you uh, past anything that you can bear or can't bear okay so, of course, I pulled the book of Job, all right, where it says the Lord will allow you to be tested, okay? So, the Lord told Satan, you know, you can do whatever you want to Job, but you cannot kill him, all right? And that's another thing for you, the Christians that don't have no understanding, that there is no war between Yahweh and Satan. Satan is on the left-hand side doing what he's supposed to be doing according to the will of Yahweh, okay? And with all of that being said, um, there are many things that are coming down the pipe for all of us, uh, some you know will have more than others everybody's hell is going to be different but it'll be tailored <laughs> it will be tailored for you and you're gonna have to walk that straight gate you're gonna have to um watch how you respond in a time of trouble because you know think of it as a test <laughs> because that's what it is right so let me get matthew 7 and 13 and i'm gonna be brief <clears throat> i'm gonna be very brief and this is just something to help those um uh, kind of remember what we have going what what you know what we're what we're a part of okay it's not all rainbows and sunshine right so this is matthew 7 gosh where am i at matthew 7 and 13 and i'm gonna just read it straight to the point okay enter ye in at the straight gate <clears throat> for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in there uh, thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it okay and um that's lucky i lost my train of thought let me get to um let me pair that with uh <laughs> second Ezra seven and seven that's what i was gonna do okay Okay, so straight to the point yet again. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right-hand side and on the left a deep water, and only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Okay, uh, let, me, let me keep reading. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never... If he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Okay, so that is what we're going into. Um, and two things I want to push together is that you be careful how you respond in a time of trouble because it is coming. 
and understand that you have to walk straight through it there is no other way to the left or to the right okay um and the only thing that's going to hold you is what your faith or the spirit man that you've built within this uh, so-called time of freedom and, and liberty. Okay? So, um, we are to know that we need to lean on Yahweh Shai. We need to um, continue to pray. Continue to be humble in our prayer and contrite understanding that we are the ones in the wrong. Understanding that we are the ones in the need of grace and in the need of mercy. <clears throat> so that straight gate um won't seem so uh you know won't seem so hellish because at least we know where we're going at least we have the light right everyone else has no end in sight they're just you know masses zombies herds of cows going to their destruction at least that everybody's going to suffer so at least we're suffering for righteousness <laughs> And again, I want to harp, be careful how you respond in the time of trouble because it, you know, you have to think of it as a test. All right, the Lord wants you to graduate. You know, we go from glory to glory. Okay, uh, let's go to First Peter 5. And I'm just going to get uh, get through these because this is just something really quick to kind of be a reminder of what we have going. Okay, and I'm going to read it from 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, <clears throat> as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. <laughs> okay, that is what it's about, the war between the spirit and the flesh, and the Lord is going to allow it, and you need to fight. You need to pay attention when you, when something comes upon you. And I gave my example in the beginning. It is very small. It is very minuscule. But there are other things coming down the pipe for us. And anybody telling you that, it, you know, it's gravy and we ain't suffering anymore. Anybody telling you anything other than what is being said through the men of the Great Millstone and those who preach the like doctrine. That you need to prepare yourself for hell. Um, of course, you'll be kept. Uh, uh, the elect, of course, will be kept. And we're praying that we're up that number. But there's hell coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. All right. If anybody telling you that it's not, understand Isaiah 8 and 20. There is no light in them. They do not speak according to these scriptures. Okay. So um, I got that. And let's go to um, Psalms 55 and 22. And if you haven't read through the book of Job, I suggest you do so. Um, also, side by side it with, you know, the KJV and the NLT or the ESV or whatever. But read through the book of Job and gain that understanding that you will be allowed. The Lord will allow you, you know, to be tried as gold or tried as iron is tried, right? Like gold in the fire. <laughs> what did I say? Psalms 55 and 22. And then that'll be it. We'll just, I'm going to read this and then that'll be, um, <clears throat> actually... Yes, there, there, that's it. 55 and 22. And here's what we need right here. Especially if we're leaning on the Lord. Leaning on Yahweh Shai. Alright. Cast thy burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Right. So we're going to be in the midst of chaos and hell. But we will be kept. And you need to believe that. You need to have faith in that. Okay. And in each and every time, treat a, 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 a troubling uh, uh, instance or issue that you may have treat it like a test how can you improve how what would what is going to be uh something that you can find in the scriptures to combat how you initially want to react or how while you initially want to uh, uh have those thoughts that are not of you right those thoughts of doubt and and anger and and, and and being jealous of the wicked put all that behind you okay keep growing keep learning keep reading all right and watch the lord work a work for you Okay, so with that being said, I pray that you are edified. Shalom.